The Perils of Overreliance on GPS A Critical Analysis of a Stranded Driver on Utah's Strawberry Peak The incident involving a 23-year-old man, who became stranded on Strawberry Peak in Wasatch County, Utah, after following a GPS-recommended shortcut, highlights the growing concerns around overreliance on navigation technology. On July 4, the driver found himself in a precarious situation that required the intervention of the Wasatch County Search and Rescue Team. This analysis will delve into the main points of the incident, provide additional context, and offer a critical examination of the broader implications. On July 4, a 23-year-old driver became stranded on Strawberry Peak in Wasatch County, Utah, after following what he believed to be a shortcut suggested by Google Maps. The driver, who was in a Toyota Tercel, called 911 after realizing he was stuck. The Wasatch County search and rescue team responded and spent three hours rescuing the driver, who fortunately did not sustain any injuries during the ordeal. The driver's reliance on Google Maps for navigation is a critical aspect of this incident. While GPS technology has revolutionized the way we travel, providing convenience and real-time updates, it is not infallible. The driver's situation underscores the importance of using GPS as a tool rather than an absolute guide. It raises questions about the responsibility of tech companies to ensure their mapping systems are as accurate and safe as possible. A spokesperson from Google stated that safety is a top priority and that they aim to route drivers on paved roads whenever possible. However, the spokesperson also mentioned that their investigation had not yet identified roads in maps leading to Strawberry Peak. This response, while reassuring, highlights a significant gap in the real-time accuracy and reliability of GPS navigation systems. Google's commitment to updating their maps is crucial, but this incident suggests that more proactive measures may be necessary to prevent such occurrences. The Wasatch County Search and Rescue Team's prompt response and successful rescue of the stranded driver are commendable. The three-hour operation demonstrates the team's preparedness and dedication to public safety. However, the incident also highlights the increasing burden on emergency services caused by GPS-related mishaps. As more individuals rely on technology for navigation, rescue teams may face more frequent and complex rescue operations. This incident is not an isolated case. Similar occurrences, such as tourists driving into a Hawaii harbor following GPS directions, illustrate a broader trend of over-reliance on technology. In both instances in Hawaii, drivers ended up in precarious situations after following GPS routes down a boat ramp at Honokohau Harbor, mistaking the water for a puddle. These events underscore the need for drivers to exercise critical thinking and situational awareness, rather than blindly trusting technology. There is a clear need for educational initiatives to inform the public about the limitations and proper use of GPS navigation. Drivers should be encouraged to cross-reference GPS directions with physical maps, road signs, and local knowledge. Tech companies could also play a role by incorporating warning systems and alerts for potentially hazardous routes. The incident on Strawberry Peak raises questions about the accuracy and reliability of GPS mapping systems. Google and other tech companies must invest in enhancing their mapping algorithms to prevent routing errors. This could include integrating more robust checks for road conditions, seasonal accessibility, and terrain challenges. Additionally, partnerships with local authorities and community feedback systems could help in keeping maps up to date and accurate. The incident involving the stranded driver on Strawberry Peak serves as a stark reminder of the potential pitfalls of over-reliance on GPS technology. While GPS systems offer unparalleled convenience, they are not without flaws. The role of tech companies in ensuring the accuracy and safety of their navigation tools is crucial, as is the responsibility of users to employ critical thinking and caution. The response from Wasatch County Search and Rescue was exemplary, but the increasing frequency of GPS-related rescues highlights the need for broader systemic changes. Educational initiatives, 
technological improvements, and enhanced public awareness are essential steps in mitigating the risks associated with GPS navigation. As technology continues to evolve, it is imperative that both providers and users of GPS systems prioritize safety and accuracy, ensuring that the benefits of navigation technology do not come at the cost of increased danger and reliance on emergency services.